What's up everybody, Do right back at it again with another video on Ready or Not. Today I'm going to be covering a newsletter that just dropped about a few minutes ago. Man, just when I thought that I was done with this game for a little bit, they go and drop this. So let's go ahead and uh, go through it, starting with Ready or Not supporters. We hope everyone is safe and well as we navigate through these interesting and difficult times. The COVID-19 pandemic and subsequent lockdowns and restrictions have impacted a great number of individuals and businesses, and Void Interactive is no exception. While some members of the team have presented what appeared to be a significant flu, thankfully, they have all gotten over it and are doing well. However, the biggest impact on us has stemmed from global lockdowns and travel restrictions. These have affected us in a number of ways. We have been limited from accessing our best equipment, thus slowing production in some areas of development, such as animation, art generation, and programming. Businesses that we rely on for support have been slowed or hampered due to stay-at-home orders. We have had to postpone a major animation shoot that was planned for April. These animations were to support the introduction of our enhanced AI in our planned June beta. As such, we are currently evaluating the feasibility of our announced June beta launch. We are considering postponing the beta in order to give us time to shoot and implement new animations for proper established enablement of our new AI system, besides continuing to advance in other areas. Single player and co-op are still the primary focus of Ready or Not, and we continue to work hard to ensure that it is a hard-hitting tactical experience that many of our supporters are looking for. You know, this seems mighty convenient. I want to give them the benefit of the doubt, but this just feels like an excuse. Like, I, I, I mean, I don't want to... I'll tell you why I feel like this towards the end of the video. But anyways, DreamHack PvP event and community feedback had previously planned to begin marketing Ready or Not in earnest at conferences and other avenues in June 2020. However, we were invited to participate in DreamHack Anaheim, which took place in February. Not wanting to pass up the complimentary opportunity to introduce Ready or Not to more people, we agreed to attend. I knew because I was there. This trip would also neatly tie in our need to come back to the United States for further real world reference work and with our plans to have a major motion capture shoot in April, it supported the plethora of new animations to breathe life into our characters as we charge into beta. And then it shows a bunch of pictures of places in California it looks like. Yeah, these are a lot of uh, what the maps are gonna look like it seems. So they were actually here looking around. They call it reference hunting. Given the event was to have a large competitive competitive focus, we decided to bring a PvP build with us. Although, everyone who came to our booth was informed about Ready or Not's broader plans. We were very pleased by the very positive reception the PvP gameplay received, I'm assuming he's talking at the one at DreamHack, and very proud to have Ready or Not announced as DreamHack Anaheim's best early access title. However, little did we know the reaction to the pandemic would end up causing us difficulties and largely affecting our travel schedules, leaving some of us stuck in California for far more time than we expected. Expected. When was DreamHack? I was there at their event, by the way. I'm just trying to remember when it happened. That was two months ago, according to my video. Two months ago. So they, they were stuck here for two months before the whole COVID thing went down? Interesting. Under these circumstances and facing slowdowns, we decided to focus on areas that benefited both the PvP and co-op, such as networking, gameplay features, and performance optimization. In the subsequent weeks, we decided we wanted to deliver this PvP build to our supporters, but to hype it up a bit, we would invite streamers and content creators to give it a first First look. We believe that by offering the PvP playtests as an exclusive, we would have more creators interested, which proved to be true. Over 50 creators and streamers accepted the invitation to join the PvP event windows on April 24th and 25th. I wasn't invited. Again, thank Big Fry for pushing me through. PvP. As we work to implement some changes and improvements to the DreamHack PvP build, as well as continuing to progress on the other aspects of the game, time moved quickly and we added last few minute features in attempt to elevate the game experience, which turned out to be a bad judgment call on Void Interactive's part. Day one was very rough and somewhat painful. We neglected to do a few key things prior, including feature testing and other important QA steps on those features leading up to the launch. This resulted in a number of issues including a two hour delayed start due to the server matchmaking issues which guys all the stuff that I actually talked about in a previous video, I, I ranted in that video. Um, if you guys are gonna go watch it, it's, it's at the top right of the screen. Sound problems including an overbearing announcer voice, distracting and excessively loud gunshots, and whizzing effects, collision problems on some of the walls and floors in the level, and a number of events triggered, the server crash thus ruining the gameplay experience. Gathering from the feedback from the first play event, most of those issues were fixed for day two. That is true. They fixed all those issues that 
were seen in day one, but they fixed it enough for us to see other issues, which I made another video on. If you want to check that out, it's at the top right. I stayed for day two. I was probably like one of the only people that stayed. The second playtest window ran much smoother, and many of the participants indicated that they had a smoother and more enjoyable gaming experience. PvP action? Still, we did get deservedly roasted by some of the participants and took a lot of public criticism. We gracefully accept the criticism and commit to be more careful with future events. We now know that it would have been better to first release the PvP build to our supporters you think? I've been literally screaming that from the fucking rooftops. The supporters have been sitting there for three fucking months with no updates. And now the chickens are coming home to roost. Refund, 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 so they can see it. Ah, oh, God, that one just, I have to just like stop because like these people paid $120 to test your game. Oh my God, they could have caught this like three months in advance. Like literally we were waiting three months for a fucking update. Oh, this hurts my head. Test it and provide us with the critical feedback as usual and then plan for a streamer event as appropriate we do regret not being able to turn back the clock and that some of our supporters were very upset with our decision to give access to content creators first with that said we are using all of the feedback we received to improve and polish the pvp build even further which has already been released on steam for all supporters we also hosted our 12th community playtesting event on this new pvp build which was the first internal nda free event where supporters were able to stream and share content from the build with others publicly we received piles of essential feedback from both supporters and the general public feedback we are actively reviewing and discussing in order to bring further improvements with the next update including fixes to technical performance and gameplay issues as well as a new game mode that incentivizes more tactical play the new pvp build will remain nda free meaning supporters will be free to document record stream and share its context with the public through whichever platform they'd like after its launch however Please bear in mind that the single player co-op branch will remain under NDA for now and therefore its contents are not yet allowed to be shared with others. Feedback and criticism. As some of you already know, our dedicated social media and community manager, lovingly known as FAQ to many of you, is the only one that I like at this point. Along with the team of present and very supportive moderators, keep their ear to the ground and help us by summarizing supporter player feedback and presenting it to the development team for review on a very regular basis basis. It is thanks to their efforts and all of the supporters feedback that we have implemented a number of changes and implements and improvements to ready or not as we develop the alpha. Examples include the recently added med kit. Our plans for the game were not to have any form of health recovery system. It's interesting that they say that because they've always had like a little pack with like a, a cross symbol on it meaning that it's like some sort of med kit system. But anyways the ongoing evolution of the UI. Yes please make it more simpler please. I like the animations keep that but just make it more simpler, like put it in a box or something, please. The functionality and gameplay behind grenades, tweaks on many of the weapons, sounds, levels, and multiplayer game modes, modifications to systems such as sprinting and lockpicking. There's an issue with lockpicking that I'm unable to say at the moment, but I really hope that they just, you know, keep it where it's at and not change what isn't broken. And many, many more. We are grateful for all of the feedback we received from our community as it serves to shape the Ready or Not experience. And the last thing that's here is... Uh, uh, the single player co-op. We're working hard to achieve the most compelling experience possible with our AI system, but as stated above, due to the recent complications prompted by the coronavirus, which affected our travel schedules and limited resources, we had to postpone the planned motion capture shoots that would support the vast variety of AI behaviors. Our programming team has been developing. The work is both ongoing and incredibly complex. We know you're dying to see our progress and we are just as eager to share that progress with you, but we know how important the single player and co-op experience will be for ready or not yeah i think like 90 percent of people wanted to see the single player and co-op but they decided to go with the multiplayer which is a bit confusing but anyways and we want to do it justice when we showcase it i mean that's what everybody's fucking here for so if it's bad you can kiss ready or not goodbye nobody's gonna play it. like there's already people that are asking for refunds in conclusion we will announce any changes to our release schedule as soon as we are able to as always we would like to thank you for your continued feedback and support in the meantime we hope 
hope you enjoy the newly released PvP build and can join one of our regularly programmed playtest windows. All right, so overall, this is not an update newsletter that actually tells us what's coming up next. I mean, sure, they show us a couple of pictures that the public hasn't seen before. Maybe that's an update in itself, but we're not looking at that. We're looking at what they said here. And what this is, is a bit of a acknowledgement of all the well-deserved criticism. Not only did I and Big Fry roast them, but they were roasted on a grand scale with people that had over a million subs. That PvP event put them to shame and gave them a bit of a reality check that maybe, oh, just maybe, you be a little more transparent with us because if you don't, then people start to speculate and come up with these grand theories about what the hell is going on. And then it builds and it builds and it builds until Void actually shows something. And if they show something that's really bad, it's gonna blow up in their fucking face, validating whatever crazy thing that somebody had in their head. So you know what? I'm glad. I'm glad that they're actually acknowledging the criticism here, but they've done this once before. So how good is their word? How do I know that Void is actually going to take this to heart and not blow us off like they did last time? I guess only time will tell. So that was my little rant on that. Now, when it comes to a whole COVID thing, I think that it's mighty convenient. Like if you were having all of these issues, why didn't you postpone the PVP event beforehand? Like it's just, it just blows my mind, you know? Like I don't want to get too much into that because to me it feels too convenient, but at the same time, it could actually be a serious thing. Like it does make sense with all the things that they mentioned here. So I, I just don't want to touch that one, but I will say that it does feel convenient. As for the postpone, I think they should postpone it. Given all of the bugs that I named off in the previous video, this build is nowhere near ready for beta. Now I know that there's going to be a lot of people that are pissed off that the beta might not be coming out in June, but I'd rather have a game that actually functions when it's launched than to have one that's broken. And if they do postpone it, tell me now, tell me now, don't tell me the day of or the last day of the month. Tell me now so I don't have to get ready for it and look like a dumbass for covering your game. Let me know in advance. So yeah, that was the video. What are your thoughts? Do you think that Void Interactive is actually going to take this to heart or do you think this is just all hot air? Tell me what you think down in the comments below. If you're someone that enjoys the fact that I cover games like Ready or Not, like the video, comment down below and share the video. If you're someone that's new, subscribe and ding the bell. If you would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.